Hello guys, this is Meta and this is the third part of the tutorial of how to make a script editor in Visual Basic. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add menus, something like file menu which you can save your project and you can close your project, you can copy paste scripts, just like that, okay? Just make it smaller some. and go to toolbox and go to menus and toolbox and add a menu strip name the first one to file the second one to edit and the third one to help now click file and click and write uh, new open save save as put a separator that's strange oh my god that's really getting on my nerves. So buggy. Okay, now make an exit. Finish. Now go to edit and type cut under. Redo and put a separator and write copy paste and put another separator and write select all. Okay, that's it. Now on the home, we will think about it later, just forget about it for now. Just resize it to its perfect size. Now click on file and new and let's make something new, okay? So we'll write dim notify as object equals message box show and the text I you sure caption notification the message box button yes no and the message box icon which is first okay now if notify equals dialog result dot yes if user click yes then script editor dot text oh, sorry it's it is text editor my bad dot text equals nothing or you can just put this okay oh man now start debugging now let me Add control HTML hello and if I type new and if I click yes then it removes everything and if I write, click no then it doesn't that's good huh okay now let's do for the open part okay now for the open let's drag out dialogs which is open file dialog into our project now we'll write a dialog dlg open file now the file name is um, just put here all files on the filter 
you put all files and then the uh, straight line thing which is after the plus on your keyboard and the asterisk and da and again the asterisk then enter and write open file finish now double click the open file so and double click the open also and write dialog open file dot show dialog uh, it will show the dialog open file okay um, for this so when user select the file and click ok then we will have to get the file name ok so we have to make a private variable private file name as string because nothing now when dialog point file the file ok file ok then we write file name because to dialog open file the file name now what can I do? Uh, we need to import uh, uh, string reader. No, not reader. Now, uh, uh, hmm, let me think about it. I will show you in the next part. Okay.